number nine type of folly. Coaches media meltdown. You play to win the game. We can't be responsible for the blocking. We can't be responsible for the guys jumping offside. I'm getting all the damn heat with everybody, each and every one of y'all hammering my tail. I want winners. I want people that want to win. Go ahead. What's up next? No, I feel bad for the coaches because just picture, I mean, that's their job. So picture, you know, us having the worst day at our job ever. And then you have like 40 people asking you, why'd you do this? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? And dead gum at the end. I don't want to hear any of you guys ever talk about our fourth quarter play again. Unless you've got some that I don't think you've got. You hope that a coach freaks out on a reporter, then he got a nice little sound bite. You play to win the game. Our number nine type of folly is an NFL soapbox that has featured characters like the Big Tuna and Iron Mike. There's three quarterbacks on this football team. Whichever one starts, starts. Whichever ones don't, will back them up. See that? That's your IQ, buddy. Zero. Hey, Ditkus, you lost. Or he says something that fake. He goes, here's your IQ, buddy. See that? That's your IQ, buddy. Zero. I'm going to turn over I'd rather talk to him. <laughs> 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 Mike, get the I know, I know I'm smarter than that. We lost. Next question. Injuries from the uh, game. Talk to the trainer. Next. I said that already. Next question. Mike, why are you in such a bad mood? What do you care? Somewhat hypothetical, but if Vinny's unhealthy... I'm not. Uh, don't give me hypothetical. The best is Bill Parcells' press conference when he's a coach because he's so miserable. You don't know anything about the chart, quite obviously, and I haven't got the time to explain it to you. Because he hates the media, he doesn't want to answer, and he just lost the game, and he's passionate about it. It's, it's unbelievable. You know, that's why sometimes I call you guys commies. That's why. It's that stuff right there. <laughs> there it is. Sub subversive from within, even when it's going good. The Bears are who we thought they were. That's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown them. But they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. I like that, too, because it was more cryptic. You know, we are who we thought, or they are who we thought they are. What? Which one? Who is who you thought they were? Why? The Bears are who we thought they were. Like, what was he mad at? Was he mad that they were who they thought they were? The Bears are who we thought they were. Or is he mad that other people thought that they didn't think that they were, were who, who they, they thought, thought they were. were? But they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. And the fact that it's so ambiguous, yet he was so hardcore about it, <laughs> makes it great. Now, if you want to crown him, then crown her. But when it comes to the king of our number nine kind of folly, Jim Mora leads the way. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. 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 I just hope we can win a game. God bless Jim Mora for the rest of his life. No matter where he goes, there'll be people on the street screaming, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. That's the standard by which all coaching rants should be measured is Jim Mora's playoff rant. He had some other good ones, too. He had the diddly poo one. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. You don't know what we're trying to do. You guys don't look at the films. You don't know what happened. You really don't know. You think you know, but you don't know. And you never will. That's his best Saint rant. His best Colts rant was the playoffs rant. Uh, playoffs? Which is the best of all time. Dennis Green, pretty damn close to it. Now, if you want to crown him, then crown her. <laughs> 